short introduction. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kia ora all. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, it, it's Kevin Beck, obviously. And I've got Peter Horsley with me from, uh, who lives at Quaker Acres. And Peter's got an environment, uh, a background in environmental law and uh, working as an activist. And uh, the interesting thing I found when I came here that he's been following the Te Wai Karapupu, uh the tribunal hearings, and he kind of knows a bit about it. And I found that was amazing that there was someone here in the North Island who's reading up about it and following it, you know. So really cool. So good day. Hey, um, can you, I, what I'd really like people to kind of discover a bit is that the whole kind of legal bit about it. It's because, uh, you know, could you, like, do you think we'll get it? I mean, in, because you've got a lot of experience in this. And if we do get the, in, in, uh, if we get it, the World Conservation Tribunal, if it's all, if it's, you know, it's correct, we get it and it's all kind of, we're all having, we're all happy. But could there be kind of, um, you know, things that kind of, you know, karma and we might have little kind of struggles and kind of, you know, what are the things we may have to kind of keep an, an eye out for? Yeah, right. First up, um, it's pretty a very, very impressive application. Um, it's probably the first time in New Zealand we've seen yeah. this link between you know, sacred waters, as my, yeah. my bro called them, as they are, yeah. um, and um, a very strong expression of, of these old values from, our, yes, from yes. Maritama. Yeah, Maritama. And then very, very good Western science yeah. um, from Andrew, yeah. and then very strong support from the, from the wider Takaku and Golden Bay communities. So that's that's very very impressive, yeah. and equally significant um, when you look. Well, my skimming of the evidence uh, yeah, yeah. is just to see these connections between the springs and the extraordinary aquifer that surrounds those springs, mm. and then this deep uh, expectation of, of and responsibility of, of guardianship from both Maori and, and the European settlers. So that I think is a, is a, to me a recipe for success. But of course, these issues um, are complicated because of the way the law can be interpreted. Yep. Um, lawyers love words. Yep. At its best, it can be creative and very energetic. At its worst, it's dry and detached, um, just a bullshit yeah. game. Bullshit game. Yeah. And you've probably yeah. seen both those sides yep. in the hearing. Yep. Um, and welcome to the to the legal world. Yeah. But it, because the issue is so big, I think it's one of the most significant. Certainly, to me, um, one of the more significant applications that um, we've ever seen in New Zealand uh, because of that. These yeah. convergence of interests, both ecological and social and cultural and spiritual. Um, there will be some questions that perhaps the tribunal mightn't be willing to answer, um, and, and perhaps with the expectations. Um, and that can mean you know, appeals to the Environment Court. Yeah. It obviously, could go two ways. Yeah. The people opposed to the application may well appeal to the Environment Court. It may be that um, you might get 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10, but yeah. it would be really good to get 10 out of 10, yeah, so we, you might wish to appeal. We, we might have to appeal. Yeah. yeah. Um, again, just to perhaps go that extra log. Yeah. But I think it's really important that, that, that you know, the water protectors equally, what Kevin's doing, what the, the support that's coming from, from Golden Bay is crucial. Bring this to the wider public attention. And yeah. if uh, an appeal is going to happen, then you've got the ability to tap into the resources from throughout the country and beyond. Yeah. Oh, that's so so good, and and kind of, do you think we'll actually get it? You know, well, you know, I, I skimmed the evidence. Uh, you skimmed. I, I'm it, obviously yeah. I'm biased. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I've, you know, I've been to Takaka um, and Golden Bay many times. Love that place. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Extraordinary springs. Um, my sense is that you know, yeah, yeah. As, as, for what it's worth, I think you'll get it. But, yeah. And with luck, it'll, it'll be a 10 out of 10, but it may not be. That's what I'm hoping for, 10 out of 10. <laughs> and, you know, we're kind of heart to heart on this. We're hoping for 10. But we're aware, I think both of us, you know, that it could be 7 out of 10. And we may have to go take the, the path of law and uh, go to the environment court just to make sure it's not 7 out of 10, that it's 10 out of 10 or 9.5 out of 10. We might need to have, have that. So that's a possibility. And the key issue is that law can be interpreted very creatively with great passion and great, uh, we could probably use the word, araha, eh? Yes. And those things can count. Yes. Um, so I think it's, to me, um, the picture is one of hope, but it might be a few more little hurdles to get over. But to so, me, the, no, yeah, there we, yeah, no, we've got it. Yeah. Hope and hurdles, but the hurdles aren't huge. Yeah. And we're going to get there. Yeah. Kia ora, okay. Kia ora. Kia ora. <laughs> Thanks very much, Peter. I don't know how